Hello friends, this is Samitha Gupta. Welcome you all for my 21 lecture of electron devices circuits that is design of two stage RC coupled amplifier using LT spice and then we will calculate the gain. So first of all, I uh, will start LT spice software and this is the circuit we will ma uh, make today. So first of all, go in file command and press new semantics and now we know these are the symbols for components. So you have to press this. Uh, this is first component or you can directly press f2 command for uh, uh, the component just press npn now we want two npn we want the resistance one two three because we are uh, drawing the voltage divider network so as per this requirement then we want capacitance uh, control r here hmm? at input okay at output then uh, we want voltage press this voltage so take one voltage for uh, dc supply one for ac okay now if you will see this is like this now uh, it is uh, it looks very complex so what you do just minimize it or maximize as per the convenience okay what is it okay so now i'll uh, do one by one okay so first of all adjust the position of the resistance capacitor as per your like i want this uh, both resistance in this alignment like right? you can shift like this so this is by hand position okay by hand position you can shift anything like by hand position i want uh, these resistance will be in like uh, escape mm -hmm. again put this hand and uh, like this so uh, as per uh, this hand you can move the position of any component okay now this uh, wire okay again this is not in the correct position means i want the uh, circuit should be perfect means these two resistors should be um, uh, not in same line okay like this Again, it's not in uh, same line. So, with the help of uh, practice, uh, you will be perfect. And uh, drawing the semantics first. If you want to cut anything, you just take this scissor. Okay, so in this uh, way, we'll complete the circuit. If you want to move on, so, uh, so we'll first complete stage by stage, okay? Then we will couple two stages to the help of capacitance, okay? Uh, connect these two resistance hmm? now. The output of first stage is connected to input of the second stage. Okay, or you can make it up one. So dot here you can show. Mm, or uh, just uh, what you do? Cross this. Because the node was not there, okay. So that will show the no, non-overlapping type. That's why uh, that's why I have removed that. Okay. Now this is your output capacitance. At output capacitance, there should be a one resistance. Uh, that is load resistance should be also be there. Okay. So now we'll connect everything. Like uh, we want to connect everything to the ground. Okay, now uh, connect this resistance to here. Mm. This resistance to ground. Actually, this is uh, sorry. This is the bigger circuit, so it takes some time. Okay, so in this way you can complete the circuit. 
or if you want to move the position you can move like this or if you want like this okay you can move this component here so now this is your input capacitance connect here this is your ac supply connect here now what else oh, what is this? Uh, yes that dc here here so these two are connected to this take one connection here this is your dc supply or what you want just connect this at top side that you can also do and connect one ground uh, take ground here and connect ground here okay now one ground will be at here mm -hmm. and one ground it will be here okay and this extra circuit you can cut from it so so you can connect this here okay uh, now you can check or you can minimize this so understand so now circuit is complete see here this is one stage bzt amplifier this is another stage bzt amplifier this is your ac input this is a load resistor you can change the name also just for this changing the name you have to click on this um, this is for value this is for select registers you want any uh, big value resistance okay so here uh, i am giving load is 10k okay. and this for highlight net you want to give some name so first of all uh, just give the values to all the resistors suppose i am giving uh, taking this 15k this is 4.7k and this is i'm taking suppose for example uh let's see 2.2k and this is i will take 1k same set of values i'll take here 15k 4.7k Two point two k and one k. Hmm? Now uh, the value of capacitance. I'm just taking ten microfarad, so ten u. And here at uh, between either you can take ten or one. That depends on your choice. I'm just taking ten. Okay. Now a DC supply. I'm giving fifteen volt. Uh, this is i want ac so go in advance i'm not uh, giving any sign first i'm just saving ac and with amplitude one go that's it okay uh, now we'll check the behavior so go and simulate at its simulation command now we want we want ac analysis and the sweep is we want the decade because we want the odd and decade points 101 start frequency we are taking 10 and uh, last is 100 megahertz you have to press mez otherwise it will not understand okay press here then this is the simulation command this running voice simulation command. this is the previous one so we'll check for hours only okay so this will minimize or cross and this is our main case okay so what do you want you want uh, you have not given the name also you can give here uh, click on this wire and uh, just uh, label net and press it v out uh, one so we that we can understand the difference between both output this is your v out one okay now this is your main output so i am giving its name uh, like uh, v out okay so this is your v out okay now we'll check the uh, this. Hmm? Now click on uh, by this uh, red. This is shows the output. This is your V out of stage one. Now see this is the V out of stage two. Okay. Uh, now you are confused. So just from this right side, click on this. Don't plot face. We'll just check the uh, only magnitude. The green one indicate the V out one means of 
first stage output what is the first stage but this blue one indicates the output of second stage so you can understand this blue one is overall means it is the two stage output and this is only one stage output definitely you can understand uh, by this behavior this two stage output is more than the one stage output okay uh, because this uh, that this is the output means the uh, multiplication of all, uh, two stages okay so but now we'll uh, do uh, we want gain of overall okay so for gain what we have to do just uh, click on this i'm just clicking output uh, it is of uh, right side okay now see uh, if you uh, can learn you can understand the graph this is your frequency okay we have taken from 10 hertz to 100 megahertz range that you can change by yourself you can do lots of experiments and this it indicates the gain and this indicates the uh, phase Okay, if you have any idea about the body plot, so if you can understand there is some uh, frequency, there is magnitude plot, there is a phase plot. Okay, now we want to calculate. Suppose uh, your teacher uh, told you draw the circuit, simulate the circuit, and the calculate the gain. And how to check the gain? Because there are lots of range here. So this understand this vertical axis it shows uh, uh, representation either linear mode, logarithmic mode, decimal mode. Currently, it's in decibel. You want gain just in board upon board. So cl click on this linear. Okay. Okay. Now click on this V out option. Now here, you, this window you can understand. In this window, it shows okay 31.42 frequency. At this frequency, your output board is magnitude is 2.33 phases. This group delay this. And you, if you will slide this position, uh, it will be like this. Okay. Uh, actually, this uh, overall range is constant. Means uh, the frequency uh, you will vary, but magnitude will be approximately constant. You can uh, check the behavior like this. Okay, magnitude is two point three three one four one zero one board. It is not changing. Okay, uh, you want to show this magnitude this uh, plot. So what you have to do? Go in plot setting command, and then notes and uh, annotation, and click on label cursor. Now in the plot itself, it is it's showing that at this frequency, your gain is 2.3314. I mean, it's not gain, it's a V out. Since if you remember in the circuit, we have given input is one volt. And what is our gain? Gain is V out by V in. And V out is 2.331 and V in is one. So something divided by one is same. So this is our gain. Uh, again, you can uh, check in this. This is your gain. You want to check is it like phase. So what you have to do, uh, click on this. I'm taking log value. Uh, now phase is 15.9 and you want this should be shown here in this plot. So again, go in plot setting, notes and annotation, and then this. So at this frequency, this is the phase, this is the gain. Uh, suppose uh, you want to gain, not in this uh, normal value, linear value, you want gain in decimal only. So you will check here. The gain in decibel, it's not shown here. So what you have to do? You have to change the axis to the decibel. Okay, when you will change and click on this V out, it shows the gain is 7.35 dB. Okay, you can, uh, you can zoom this across this, you can zoom this uh, like this. Okay, it is clearly showing this V out is 2.31 volt, but in dB it is uh, 7.3 dB. Okay, so in this way we have learned how to draw semantics of two stage RC coupled amplifier, how to calculate gain either in linear value or in decimal value. Now, what is your task? Now, your task is you have to calculate the theoretical value of gain in linear value as well in DC value and you have to compare the results uh, whether you are getting approximate same result or how much error you are getting okay and reply in comment box okay keep learning thank you god bless